Hello, trading is closed on May the 18th, 2017. As usual, let's go over yesterday's call. We said we had five waves down, thought that yesterday's close was possibly the end of the first leg down. That was awfully close. We then looked for higher prices, which we got. We had some EJT targets. We said we didn't know if they would print. The ultimate one did not print, but there's no time limit on that. The other target of 2374.07 printed, and there was resistance over the target. During the day, MEJT said ultimately higher prices would print. When they did, it said the move was false and wouldn't stick. It says the afternoon rally is false, won't stick, gives us a target of 2359.66. Most likely to print tomorrow, and that's my call. I think it's important to remind those not familiar with the system how these numbers are used. This target, 237407, that was established here. Now, at this point, the risk reward ratio isn't very good. You have a target, but you don't really have a trade. When you came in to today's trade looking for a low and prices started to rally and you're itching to go short because we think a major top is in, the MJT target gives you a reasonable entry price for a short position. It tells you a target which is usually hit and tells you there's going to be resistance over that price. Most systems, when they give a signal, you act immediately and that's not how MJT works. Well, before we go into tomorrow's trade, this is my call, but let's go over the long-term picture once again. Um, as recently as Tuesday, two days ago, we hit a new all-time high. Here's the market breadth. It's dropping further on the day when the market had a rally. That's not the sign of a market set to recover. Here's your new high versus new lows. Remember, Tuesday and today's Thursday. Tuesday, we hit a new all-time high. No stocks hit new highs. 24 stocks hit yearly lows. Once again, that's not a minor blip on the road higher. We still have a DeMarc sell signal in effect, and it seems to be working. The um, TD line, which is quite accurate, says at some point we're going to drop 145 points under the red line. We started low, rallied all day. That's positive, but it's not positive when you can't close over the early highs. Lower prices should print. It's a signal that would be invalidated if we gapped up and promptly took out this high. But let's see what else rallying all day accomplished. Here's a 65 minute chart. It couldn't close over this high, these highs. If you go back to the February highs, you'll see we could not close over any of them. So rallying all day after a significant drop with many sell signals, an all-day rally couldn't recover any significant prior high, and that's not good. I look for lower prices tomorrow. Here's my target. As always, if we gap up, if we gap sharply in the undesired direction, the call's killed from the open. One more point, if we drop to this level early on, we're going to have a diamond on stilts. There will be support if that happens. And if you get down to this price, I would consider closing out any short position. Although um, this is a market environment where I am reluctant to take any long positions uh, without a very tight stop. And that's today's call.